Hi, Gene Burnett from GeneBurnett.com. Hey, I thought we'd talk a little bit today about um, just a little model that I've been using for um, uh, receiving force uh, into my body. Um, it's a good case of um, where a Tai Chi principle or something I learned in Tai Chi or in my physical practices, can, how that can translate to, um, to other things, to daily life and to, and to other things. So first I'll talk about the physical principle and then a little bit about how you can apply it um, to else, other things. So picture a, uh, a little bit of a spectrum here with four stages along that spectrum. Over here is, I would call it like extreme yielding being super, super soft and putting up no resistance to change or to force at all. So what that looks like is this. If he gives me a push on the side there, there, and make it a little bit bigger push, um, I'm just going to go, you know, <laughs> I'm just going to fall down. So if that was gravity force, it would be just caving in and just completely just sagging under gravity like this. It's, it's putting up very, very little resistance. It's almost cringing from the force. Um, obviously, we don't want that. On the other end of the spectrum, over here, is extreme force, uh, almost to the point where I'm fighting against something that isn't even there. So when he gives me that same push, I'm pushing against him like this, and if he, falls, if he, if he disappears all of a sudden, I just fall on him. So that is, when he pushes, I go right out to my skin, and I'm fighting him. And I'm fighting more than him. I'm fighting my conception of him. I might be fighting authority figures in my life from when I was three years old. I'm, I'm grinding up all this energy and stuff that, that, again, too much force. So you have complete yin, uh, utter yielding. And then you have complete yang, utter forcing and fighting and going crazy. Now what interests me most are these two in the middle. On the inside, we have what I would call receiving, yielding, but with structure. And that's what you see people doing a decent amount of time in various demos and stuff. So the pressure comes, and when it comes, I'm taking it into my structure. I'm fighting for my own structure. Just one steady push, please. I'm fighting for my own structure. If he suddenly goes away, I just fall back into it again. As he pushes a little bit harder and a little bit harder, um, whoops. <laughs> as he pushes a little bit harder and a little bit harder, I'm going to just ground that into my structure. Right? If my feet are closer together, it's a little harder. Just push a little bit softer but steadily, kind of increase. And as he does that, I'm, I'm just taking it into my structure. And he goes away, and I'm okay. So I'm fighting for my own structure, my own frame. If it's gravity, I'm just receiving gravity downwards into my bones and I'm not allowing it to crumple my structure. I'm using just enough force to keep that there. And it's a nice way to receive force. You just take it into your structure, it goes away, and you're fine. Now the other side of the spectrum, which would be like more active, this is passive and firm. This is active, but relaxed. So what I'm doing there is I'm taking it into my structure, yes, but I'm also pushing back a little bit. So I'm, I can feel his center. See, I'm extending my, my, myself, my senses into him a little bit. So I can push him back if I want to. But I'm actively searching out and seeking and feeling into his body. If he was gonna, if he would uh, cross hands with me a little bit here. If he's pushing on my arm, if I'm doing the passive thing, I'm just settling into myself. So I'm, I'm just feeling my skeleton and my, my system kind of thicken a little bit. If I'm doing the active, then I've got pressure on him. If he goes away, Boom! You know, it floods back in. It's like I'm looking for an opening. This is just receiving, and the other one is like receiving with a little back pressure. It's like I'm a water hose and I'm looking for cracks. And if there's a crack anywhere, then the water will go, go in there. So if you think of responding to any kind of force coming onto your body, whether it's physical force like that, or change, some some kind of change is coming, something bad, you get the bad phone call, or whatever. This is collapsing under the change. This is fighting it like crazy, fighting things that aren't even there. But then, there's receiving the change into your body, receiving it into yourself, and just maintaining your own structure. That can be a valuable way to deal with change, especially when you don't have a lot of resources or a lot of energy. And then the other thing is, you receive it in, but you actually start, but you push back a little bit. There's a little bit of extra 
uh, awareness and looking for any kind of opportunity to, to move against the change or to move around the change or to move with the change. So um, one way that I've been applying this is with the cold, because the winter gets cold. We teach out here, I teach out here all year long, and um, you know, cringing from the cold, the super soft passive thing would be, you know, like, oh, it's freezing and layering up lots of coats and driving with my heat turned up in the car, and I don't have a car, but if I did, um, cranking the heat at home and blankets and, you know, trying to, basic, you're basically internally cringing from the cold. And then the other thing would be like, you know, saying to hell with it, I'm going to wear a tank top and, and running shorts all summer long, or all winter long, and be like, Ugh! you know, like, going nuts for the cold. Uh, for some people, I guess that's okay. You guys who meditate sitting on icebergs and stuff, but that's not for me. But the other two, you know, when it's cold and I just feel the cold, but at the same time, inside my body, it's 98.6. Inside my body, it's warm. If I just focus on my own blood and my own structure and just relax inside, that can actually help me with the warmth. And the other thing would be pressure. If I press against that a little bit, like I'm not, I'm not like a, a furnace with old dying embers in it or just soft glowing coals, I'm actually raging a little bit. So if I push against the cold a little bit with a little bit of tension like that, it actually helps and it can actually um, make the cold much, much more bearable. So it's just something to think about. Uh, I think about it when I'm dealing with all kinds of different changes or forces that are coming on my body um, that um, I'm not totally yielding and I'm not totally fighting. I'm either yielding into my structure and, and letting it go no further or I'm yielding it into my structure and pushing back a little bit with some extension. Because it really is interesting what you can feel. I do an exercise sometimes where I just hold a bowling ball, 12, 13, 14 pound bowling ball in my arms like this and I go between letting the weight of the bowling ball just fall into my structure just like I was a piece of memory foam and the ball was just sitting there and I was just compressed underneath it a little bit. And then I push back against the ball a little bit and I have this awareness in here and I'm almost thinking of the surface of the ball and where I could move it and if it was a person, what kind of contact could I, you know, how could I feel from that contact into, into another body. So it's a nice exercise too of going on the spectrum. So my advice would be to avoid these outer two and consider the inner two. Consider how you can take a change into your structure but not let it move you. Consider how you can take a change into your structure but push back enough that you're not overdoing it, but enough that you can sense change and enough that you can sense space and sense opportunities for yourself to move uh, in, a, in a better way. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If you like this kind of thing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do music videos, Tai Chi videos, and all kinds of uh, nature videos and sometimes some stabs at humor. And um, uh, visit GeneBurnett.com. There's all kinds of good stuff there, too. Thanks.